Okay, so for today, we're actually going to be looking at the basic sign test again and look at the median and mean situation. So it's not going to be two lists of data. It's going to be one list of data. And we're just going to compare it to a certain value for either the mean or the median. Uh, the sample, again, the rule is asked to be 25 or less. A lot of this is going to be exactly the same as the dependent sample test. Okay, so let's get right into the example. For the mean or median, the median GPA is 80%, be 99% confident. Now, that is one list of data, just I couldn't fit it in one line. So we have one list of data, and there are all the scores for median values for other classes. Um, so starting off the same way, you're going to be looking at your null and alternate, and I have M this time, since we're talking about median. So I have M equals 80%. And the alternative is M is not equal to 80%. I would say greater than or less than GPA. It just has a different than. So we're just going to be looking at not equal to. To calculate the test statistic, okay, you're not subtracting the two values for each other. Again, this is supposed to be one list of numbers. This 80 is what's important. This 80 is what you're going to be subtracting from each one of these numbers, worrying about positive and negative signs. So... You'd be thinking 78 minus 80, that's a negative. 82 minus 80, that's a positive. So you're going right down this list and subtracting 80 each time, and plus and minus is just like before. So if you go through and do that, there are your pluses and minuses. 90 minus 80 is positive. 83 minus 80 is positive. 79 minus 80 is a negative. 80 minus 80 is zero. So there's my positive and negatives, just like last time. And you're counting these up just like last time. Positive signs, I have 11. Negative signs, I have 4. Lesser of the two values is going to be our test statistics. So test stat is 4. Now for the critical value, all that is the same. We have our alpha level 0 0.01, since we're 99% confident. Degrees of freedom is N again, so there are 16 values up there. So our degrees of freedom is 16. And since our alternative is not equal to, we have a two-tail test. So now we're going to go to the chart. Okay, so again, 0 0.01, two-tail, and degrees of freedom is 16. So... First up top, we had a two-tail 0.01, so there's our value. This is the column we're looking at. Going all the way down to 16, and 2 is our critical value. So if 2 is our critical value, now we're going to compare test stat and our critical value. Same as before. If the test stat is less than or equal to, you reject. If the test stat is greater than, you fail to reject. Since the test stat is greater than our critical value, we would fail to reject the null. The median GPA is equal to 80%. Okay, so we didn't have anything far enough away from, or enough that were far enough away, um, one way or the other. So we are looking at the 80%, and that's it for that one. Again, a lot of the techniques are the same. Your subtraction is a little different. You're looking at the value in the null and alternate. But everything else, how you find your critical value and such, all that is exactly the same. Okay, so take a second, go through this again, and then look at the other example and see if things make sense.